So how is managing a virtual team different than managing a face-to-face -face team? If it was face-to-face, -face, you could kind of tell if somebody was dragging into work one day and something's bothering them, or you could tell when they kind of lost enthusiasm, or if they have a lot of enthusiasm, you, you could see that. Now, that gets a little more difficult in the virtual environment, you know, especially if it's just email. It's hard to tell what's going on. Now, maybe you can arrange some uh, video-based conferencing, and you get a little, you actually can get a pretty good sense of what's going on with video-based conferencing with the person. But the method of knowing how they're doing and staying in touch is, vastly different, and I want to tell a story first and then make a point about it, okay? I think the best way to know whether a person is an effective manager is to observe their team working for that person, okay? That's how you can tell if the manager is effective or not. Now, I love coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker, and I've probably been in every Starbucks in New York City at least twice. <laughs> I love it. I can walk into any Starbucks, and in two minutes I can tell you whether the manager is good. It only takes two minutes. You walk in and you see somebody there like, next. Hmm? Or you walk in and they go, hey, yeah, next. What would you like? You can tell, I mean, and you can see them talking to each other. Oh, what were you doing last night? Or they're like ignoring each other. That's a manager. A manager has the effect not only of all the, let's say, the business technology that has to be there to make, in this case, Starbucks happen. The manager is showing personal interest in people enabling the group to have a sense of purpose with what they're doing and showing them how their work is achieving the goals, right? And how each individual job is in relation to that. That's what uh, digital learning has to become. It has to become that way of enabling a team to know what's going on. Now, how do you do that in a virtual environment, right? You do that through this online learning. It can't be webinars because if you're global, the time zones are crazy, right? So it has to be in this context of this is what we're working on this month, team. We're working on be more effective in X, okay? And as part of that, we're going to all take this inventory on our skill level here and we're going to discuss that. And so take the inventory, post uh, your response to it, Tell me how you think the team should enact more effectively. That's all there. And the team is talking back and forth. The manager's involved in it too. That is enabling that group, like the Starbucks group, to, to move forward together with each other, with the manager interacting and seeing what's going on. And if that's well built, you know. You see it. 